You created a Beacons account and you're ready to start selling your digital products, but you don't know how to add digital products to your Beacon store. Well, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll be showing you step by step how to add digital products to your Beacon store. If you don't have a Beacons account yet, I'll leave the link to my video on how to create a Beacons account down below. Before we get started, we're going to need a digital product. If you don't already have one, you can grab my freebie down below and follow along. Even if you have a product of your own, you can still grab my freebie down below. It comes with private label rights. You can modify it and add it to your store as your own freebie. Or you can also put a price on it because it's 55 pages with a lot of valuable information. Once you have your digital product and you've signed into Beacons, scroll down a bit and click on Store. Then where it says Create a Product, click on Digital Product. The top right where it says Sections is where you can add all of the information for your product. If yours does not look like this, click on Sections and it should appear. Product Title is where you'll add the name of your product. So let's go ahead and do that. After you finish, click on the arrow to go back. Here is where you can add the price for your product. You can add a set price. You can allow your customers to pay what they want. You can have your product marked as on sale by adding the original price and the sale price. As you can see over here, that's what it looks like. You can also offer your product as a freebie to collect leads. For this video, I'm going to go ahead and add it as a set price of $47. You can click over here to change the currency to the currency of your choice. You can offer payment plans if you upgrade to a Creator Pro account. Payment plans you can offer are Klarna, Afterpay, and Affirm. You need to make sure you're connected to your Stripe account before you can use this feature. Over here, you can create a discount code to offer to your customers. Before we continue, let me change the name of this real quick because I can't be naming it Freebie and pricing it at $47. Here is where you enter the description for your product. If you don't have one, don't worry, because I'll leave the chat GPT prompt I use to create my product descriptions down below. Let's copy the prompt, head over to chat GPT, and paste it in. Everything that says replace, we're going to replace it with what it's asking for. So, I'm going to go do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now that our prompt is ready, let's click on the arrow and let chat GPT work its magic. Okay, everything is looking good. You always want to read over it and make changes because it might not be perfect, but it does most of the work and saves you a lot of time. Now we can copy everything, go back to Beacons, and paste it into our product description. I'm going to go do that, and I'll be right back. And I'm back. On the left, you can see my description is there. You can click here to add images so it looks even better. And most importantly, don't forget to add important information, like refunds. Before we continue, if you appreciate me taking the time to make this video, please give it a like so it gets pushed out to more people, and subscribe to my channel for more videos on digital products. Media is where you can add your product photo. Click on Add Image, and then click on Upload an Image. After uploading your image, adjust it to your liking, and then click on Accept. As you can see, the product photo changed to the one I chose. We don't need the other image anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Now it's time for the most important thing, the product files. This is how your customers are going to get access to your product. There are two ways you can do this, by uploading a PDF file or by adding a URL, and I'm going to show you how to do both. Let's head over to Canva. If you haven't yet grabbed the digital product I left for you guys in the description, you can do that now and follow along, but don't forget to read the private label rights on the last page. Okay, so once you have your product ready, click on Share, then click on Download. Make sure for file type you select PDF standard, and then click on download. Okay, now let's head back over to Beacons and upload the PDF file. Once you're back on Beacons, click on Upload File and select your product PDF file. Now your file should be uploading and that's it. As you can see my file is right here. Okay, so we're back on Canva, and I'm going to show you guys how to get your product links to add to Beacons. First click on Share, then click on See All. You're going to want to click on Public View Link if you just want your customers to view your product without making any changes to it. If your product comes with PLR and allows your customers to make changes like this one does, then you're going to need a template link. So let's go ahead and click on Template Link. Click on Create a Template Link, copy the link, and let's head back over to Beacons. Once you're back on Beacons, go ahead and click on Add a URL. You can paste in your template link here. I also recommend adding the name of your product. You can preview it in a new tab by clicking on this. When you finish, click on Add URL. And as you can see, it's now been added. 
Order Bump is where you can boost your sales by offering your customers another product at a discounted price. All you have to do is click on Add Product and select the product you want to add. But you can only add products that are in the same currency as your main product. Limit Product Sales is where you can add a limit for your products that are on sale. As you can see, as I'm increasing the number, it shows how many products are left. And when there's none left, it'll say, Sold Out. Affiliate Shares is new. If you've created your own product, then it's something you might want to take a look at. SEO settings help to increase your product's discoverability on search, but it's a paid feature. This shows the overall rating of your product, and this allows your customers to send you a message if they have any questions. This is your call to action button. What you type here will show up over here. Over here, you can add reviews from previous customers. You can also have an email sent out requesting a review from customers seven days after they've made a purchase. These you can also find over here at the top. We'll come back to these in a second. If you don't like the way your product page looks, you can change the design by clicking on design. You can change the layout, you can change the colors, and you can change the font. If you have a paid plan, you can also edit your product page URL. Over here is where you can see what your checkout page looks like. You want to make sure your payment methods are connected. This is what the customers will see at checkout. You can add another field, but I just leave mine as the name and email address. This is the success screen your customers will see after they complete their purchase. You can edit the thank you message. They'll get access to the product, and a copy will be sent to their email. And this is what the receipt will look like. As you can see, it has the product attached to it. And over here is where you can edit the email to say what you would like to say. You can also toggle this on, so an email requesting a product review will be sent out in seven days after the purchase. I almost forgot. You guys can switch between mobile and desktop view by clicking on these icons. And you can click on this icon to open up a preview of your product page in a new tab. If you haven't already done so, please give this video a like so it gets pushed out to more people, and subscribe to the channel for more videos on digital products and beacons. I hope you guys have a great day.